Hello and welcome today. We're checking out Dungeon Mans. This is a game that came out several years ago. I have had it on my list of games to play for quite a long time. Uh, back in 2014, December 2014 is when this one first came out uh, by Adventure Pro Games. And uh, it's it's a classic turn-based roguelike. And uh, I'm doing this this uh, this poll thing right now for Roguelike Month, where I'm asking folks' favorite roguelike games. And many uh, several folks have mentioned this one. And I thought it was finally time I, I checked this thing out. If you want to see the poll, there's a link below. And, of course, there's a link to the Steam page for this one as well. Uh, let's go ahead and try this thing out, though, and see what we can do. Let's go ahead and do a... We'll do a new academy here. Start up down this way. And found ourselves a new academy. Our story begins in a forgotten age. A legend lost in history that were buried in old myth. On the unfamiliar shores of an untamed land, a hero strode forth to... No, don't be silly. That hero is not you. Strode forth to bring the light of knowledge and civilization to a wild continent known as... What's the continent? Our continent is known as the continent of Bob Ross. Yes. This great hero upon the shores of Bob Ross brought with him but one thing, the iron spirit of a dungeon man's. There is no greater force than the order of dungeon man's. Each, of, each one a titan of monster crushing greatness. An unparalleled treasure hunter. A veteran of a thousand battles. They're amazing. This great hero set out to build a mighty dungeon man's academy. Trained the youngsters up to be dungeon man's as well. Our story begins... The, uh, the story of one young candidate, ready to embark on the rigorous years of study required to be a true dungeon man's. What is this candidate's name? His name is Nook! Alright, so, we have five stats to choose from. We have strength, we have skills, we have science, we have foom. You can see what they do over here. And, uh, mouse cursor, I guess. Um, but, uh, those stats are over here. We can re-roll these if we want. If we re-roll, then Nook is out of here. But these are actually kind of all garbage. <laughs> um, I guess... That's actually pretty good. I don't have much strength, but I have a lot of skill, which is increased range accuracy. I have a decent amount of science, which is magic defense, obviously. And I have very good foom, which is increased mana and mag mana magic damage. I wasn't going to play a mage, because I'll probably die as a mage. But you know what? Let's try it. Let's try it. All right, so we can be a few different classes. We got a ranger man, fighter man, wizard man. Uh, we also have banner man, a necromancer. Hmm, Sacromancer, Bare Fists, and Focus Mind. Southern Gentlemen, call class, dignity, and decorum are your way of life. Uh, when you lost your temper, ire burns down in real time. Use quick attacks and get as much kill and done as you can as the Iron of the Southern Gentlemen. Dungeon Man's Tourist Man, I'm not a pro, so I won't be doing those. However, the Necromancer sounds kind of like a thing that I want to do. I'm always up for a Necromancer. Let's try it. You're the one bringing back dark tomes of necromancy. You go figure it out. My pro tip. I got it. Okay, for my perks, we can be Southern Born, which gives me a little bit extra health. I'm resistant to stuns. Book Burner. Eat delicious books to restore health and gain small XP boost. You can't read books, that's the downside. Can't read books because they are too tasty. And words mean nothing to you, only action. Um, would that be okay to do as a necromancer? Do I need books? Uh, more money in the world. Um, deal more damage when you're gravely injured. Let's see. Stamina recovery ticks faster and more potent. All mana gain are increased by 20%. Overflowing with natural enzymes. Everyone at the Alchemy Lab is trying to swab you. <laughs> so, uh, um, yeah, I will be electrolyzed, sure. And then we've got, um, we do more fire and ice damage. We also take less. Um, world champion, more world monsters, more champions monsters spawn. Uh, first potion you drink is, is, does not cast you in action. Also, stamina and mana powers are 20% more expensive. Um... Take 20% less and deal 20% more dread purple damage. Um, I'm going to go with... Um, um, let's see. I want the... I think I want the weather one. Take fire... Take less fire damage and deal more fire damage. Lived all over. Tropics, deserts, hundreds. Doesn't matter. It's always t-shirt weather for you. Yeah, that's me. That's me. All right, Nook the Necromancer. What's he look like? Um... Well, there's like one mage in here, so I guess we're gonna be not the lady. We'll be we'll be that guy right there. Um, no, not that guy. That guy, lady, um, a beast. Sure, sure. Okay, let's try this thing out. My mouse is, has uh, seems to have disappeared, so we're gonna just hit enter. All right. Welcome to the Dungeon Man's Academy. New recruit Nook is here. Newly minted necromancer of the Grand Dungeon Man's Academy. Congrats, Nook. As the first graduate of the Dungeon Man's Academy, there's much that rests upon your shoulders. This untamed world is yours to explore, wander, and protect. Before you go, I can offer some exceedingly brief words of advice to nudge you in the right direction. Do you care to hear them? No. Stop talking to me. I'm out. 
Okay, so let's go venture around the uh, the academy here. We have the uh, we have the wall of text back this way. Standing before the mighty wall of text, this bit of wisdom catches your eye. Stances stay active for a set number of rounds. Regardless of use, high guard will last just as long as six enemies. Okay, okay. Uh, if you read this, you are a cat. Uh, trust no one. Worse than the pe uh, peppers is they they get jalapeno. <laughs> Oh, boy. <laughs> okay, let's go over here and talk to uh, Bookman. Uh, oh, look, you're in the right place. So, uh, this library is in deplorable condition. Books, uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, you want books? I'll get you books. Okay. We've got um, Potion Man over here. Potion Lady. She says, this is a miserable excuse for an alchemy lab. Bring me potions. Got it. Scroll balls ran off with the last bit of equipment. So, we're going to go with those scroll balls. Scroll balls is the word. Scroll balls is the word I'm using here. <laughs> she wants me to go get the stuff potions for her and then we have the blacksmith over here you can do some melting down or um or the academy warrior vault is, is that is uh legendary or set piece quality heroic gear from fallen graduates past just checking. so if if i die then i can continue in this world with a new hero speaking of we got the grave grave digger over here hello the young nook how you doing omi i'm just this uh empty in this game empty graveyard here nice and empty yep and stay that way too, right? It would be better if and I didn't have to do no digging. No, sir, I hate graves. You might as well take your vacation now, buddy, because I'm going to one-shot this whole continent. You watch. All right, and we also have the uh, couple young'uns over here training. All right, you mewling zero-level scrublets, pay attention. Here's Nook, a real hero. And what real hero Nook is going to do for us is head out into the world and defeat champions. Monsters with a glowing red aura. Brings back proofs of strength. That's right, that's me. Mark this day, recruits, for real hero Nook sets off in the name of war and victory and shall return atop a dragon of thunder, clutching a thousand skulls. Yeah, that's right. Let's get out of here. Let's learn how to walk, the, walk away from the map. Okay, there we go. <laughs> Alright, so here we are at the Dungeon Man Academy. Right, I don't have a mouse for some reason. Um, <laughs> the red thing. Um, we can go look at my, my character stats. We have a few different things we can look at. We've got... Um, my uh, my masteries, which is over here. So I mentioned before that um, we're a uh, we're a necromancer. I think I mentioned this before. As we level up, though, we'll get points to spend on one of these things, and we can put more points into necromancy to learn new things, um, or we can put them in other things. We can put them in range man, so we can do whatever we want. I could be a a fighter man wizard or fighter man necromancer if I wanted to. Put points into sword and board, legendary armsmith, that kind of thing. Um, and you can do all of them. So that's how the leveling up be works. Um, as far as my things that I have, I don't think I can tell me. I have, um, I got these dead, we'll, we'll explain dead pulses and all that, how necromancy works in a second. I've, I've sort of dabbled with it just a bit. Um, inventory, I have a, uh, I've got a, where is my, I have a yesterday's knife in my pocket. I have a combat tunic. And I have my fist. Is all I've got. So I'm not here for melee. And I think it's all masteries like oh combat powers yeah my basic stuff so i can detonate a dead pulse basically when i kill things there'll be souls there i can blow them up uh i can raise a dead person uh or i raise spend a dead, po dead pulse to create a pile of parts to fight for me i have a bolt of foom that does fire damage and generates mana and we have a light shield as well so that is my abilities we got a little town down this way which is the burg of bushel it's sort of randomized for the most part most basically how this works is is uh we're in the top northwest of the continent and down here in the uh, south east or south is where bad stuff is the thick trees and long shadows make it difficult to spot trouble but you hear rustling and bustle the rustle and bustle of, uh, of, e of enemies not demons ahead of you as you are approaching a clearing to battle all right we begin right next to this guy i don't know why my mouse isn't working why my mouse working uh Oh, there it is. There it is. Okay, it's working. Okay, so we have a dungeon crab rat. Adventurous. Unhurt. Well, let's kill him. Let's go ahead and uh, let's fire a bolt of foom at him. Take that. He did five damage to me. Okay, let's get some shield on. Okay. <laughs> let's blast him again. Blast him again. I'm going to die. Run away. <laughs> I'm going to die already. Okay. Why, how's he feeling? He's got to be almost dead, right? Badly wounded. Okay. All better. Let's grab up uh, some cash, and as you can see down here in the bottom, we have picked up a uh, one of those soul things. So I need two dead pulses to raise a dead one. So I have to kill something else. Man, it ain't easy being a uh, being a a, wi a a wizard 
I've played around a bit more with, I played a little bit with a Necromancer, but I played more with a Fighter. It was not, it was a lot easier. Let's go ahead and blast, as soon as he gets in our range, we're just going to blast this snake here. How hard can a snake be? Okay, we'll blast him. We're going to go ahead and do the shield. And we're going to blast him again. Can do more damage if I just stab him? Pick up that, that, that thing. How long do these guys last? Uh, cross your heart, just think of the grimmiest thoughts possible and focus on the disappointment and you feel in yourself. <laughs> uh, when it dies, uh, oh, it, okay. It'll fight. When it dies again, it'll explode and deal poison damage to every creature around it. Oh, let's do it. Come along. Ooh. Oh, you just, oh yeah, you move around. You're just very slow. Okay, uh, blast them. Oh, you blew up already? You're worthless. Okay, a little screwball there. Let's go ahead and get some shielding on. Got him. Okay. Man. Oh, you're so worthless. I'm not much of a necromancer yet. I guess we're just a level one guy. Uh, we look at our map here. There's a few things out there. So there's one up in the top left. Lots of trees around. Let's go over here. Okay, we got a snake over there. Go ahead and shield up. And we have two dead pulses. I think I'm going to save them, though. You guys moving fast. Why are you moving so fast? Okay, over there, grab that guy. And with a crabby. Okay, let's uh, let's do the old uh, yeah. Oh, oh, I gotta scoot up a little bit. Blast him! You killed my friend already. What we got here? Uh, fruitly citrus swirl. So like like several roguelikes, like Rogue, for instance, uh, we don't know what things are until. We use them. So we can see my inventory here. I have the fruit leaf citrus swirl. What's it do? Who knows? We can try it. I drink it. It is a battle potion. Wait. It is a battle potion champion. What's it do? Pulses with strength of champions. Oh, look at that. Oh, yeah. Oh, let's go kill this guy. Take that. Take that. Nice. Okay, it wore off already. Next time we find one of those, though, we will know what it is. Uh, we've got one guy just over here to our west, Crab Man. And let's go ahead and get, uh, we'll do another one of these these guys. I can only hold four of these things, or five of these things at one time, so might as well use them. Keep blast. Will you stop dying so much? I'll make you guys better. Okay, let's go. There's one down here, I think. Yeah, here he is. What are you? Uh, a street jit. <laughs> okay. Um, we're just going to blast this guy. Yeah, how hard can he be? There you go. All right. Take your soul and get out of this place. Okay, let's go to a real dungeon. Over this way. Yep, to the overworld. Okay, so uh, I was just throwing some things off here, but we've got... Ooh, what is this? The Cer Cerulean Curses of Lethithus. Lethithus. What's over here? We have the Forest Trail Skirmish. Uh, no, no, leave me alone. Let's go back over here and do this one. We have the Convenient Scrollwald Warren next to us. Sounds like my kind of thing. Yeah, my kind of thing for sure. Foolish red creature setting up a squall at home and nuts a stone throw from the Dungeon Man's Academy. It's as if they want to be crushed. Okay. We got a potion of Fru-Fri Pink Juice. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. We got a scroll ball right there. Let's go blast him. Um, no, don't do that. Oops, didn't mean to do that. Let's cancel it. Okay, got him. I'll take your soul, little buddy. Okay, we should level up real soon. I'll take that. We got what four shield left? There it goes. Put that shield on, and oh, we're gonna need we're gonna need our friend here. Put him right there, and we're going to blast that guy. Hey, level up! Nice! Okay. We're out of uh, out of souls to spend here. Let's go ahead and level up, though. Okay, so, uh, oh, masteries. So, I, again, we could be anything. What's the, uh, what's the next necromancy? Where is that one at? Necromancer. Um... All right, so we could go and put things into mana bones. Grants defensive aura and dead pulse pickup. I have that already, don't I? 
Uh, damaging champions and bosses will occasionally spawn dead pulses. Gives me a... Oh, picking one up gives me a defensive aura. Hmm, maybe. You could also add in volatile liquid liquidity. Curse a creature to take one poison damage each round for five rounds. If it dies while under the effects of the curse, they explode, dealing poison damage to everyone adjacent to them. Then reform is a barely mostly under your control, with shambles around for all five rounds before dying. Uh, maybe. We can also do things like... What's this one? Fumology. Grants Lava Lance. Hurl a spear of superheated foom in a line straight ahead. Burning and knocking away enemies. Propelling yourself backwards via concussive force. Ice blocks. Uh, decoy man. You know what? I played a bit of a wizard. I kind of like that thing. We can also learn how to wear... Uh, oh, no. Quick dash. Um, learn how to use a shield. Crushology. Dual wielding. No, I, I want this, uh, this, this lava lance. I had it before. It was all right. What's that thing? This happened before. It's like a. Ooh, ooh, hang on. Okay, let's go. Let's go. Let's go use a new thing. Oh, it's, oh yeah, yeah. Oh, oh, take that. Okay, okay. Um. Nice. Okay, we, we have a uh, picked up a psycho focus. Psycho focus is what? As you turn more psychomancy masteries, this item grows in power. Um. Yeah. Sure. Oh, it goes on my neck. Okay, perfect. Look at this froofy pink juice. Let's drink it. It's uh, Oh, it's a healing potion. Nice. Okay, but well now we know what healing potions are. All right, so that's, that's random each time, by the way. Last time it was something green. Uh, let's get our shield going. I wasn't paying attention. And um, let's go get them in a line if we can. Yeah, I like that. We well, got two of them anyway. Um, I will burn you. And I'll burn your other friend. Yep. Who else wants to die? Anybody? We got a uh, twin steel slammer. Why is it burning there? Do I want to step on that? Fire damage. Don't step on that. Um, okay. I'll take your... I I'm out of souls. Let's go ahead and spawn a friend. Oops. Let's go ahead and spawn a friend here. Wrong one. Sprint. Friends are two. Throw them out there. Okay, come on, buddy. Let's go kill some things. Uh, ready to go downstairs? Yet? Maybe. What do we have here? A, uh, a scroll. We don't know what how to. We don't know what it is, but it's just a scroll. More things coming in. Let's go ahead and spawn a friend. Deal with the crab. I'll deal with this guy. Nice. Okay. Take that. I'll take your soul as well. And um, yeah, I'll take you down too, buddy. We're doing six damage now. Nice. Okay. Excellent. Don't forget we have this other ability here, which is about to... Uh, can I do this thing? Make this thing explode. He wasn't quite close enough. Okay, let's go ahead and just blast him down. There we go. Okay, downstairs we go. Level 2. Right, so we got ourselves a spear over here. A, uh, a spall twizer. We have a scroll there, which we don't know what it is. Um, let's figure it out on this guy over here. Yeah. What'd I do? I pulled you into the fight. Well, that's not what I wanted to do. Uh, put this thing on. Uh, what's the other one do? Uh, skin tingles with a pull of treasure. The greedy grin of Yansir. Oh. What does that mean? More loot? I'll take more loot. You in range yet? Not yet. Okay. We ready to go down next level yet already? I don't think so. We're going to die if we do that. Like that. Anyone else? Got somebody fancy down there to the south. I don't even need a shield. I don't even need friends. Uh, we got uh, a gladiator skirt. Can I wear that? I can. It is a... Uh, oh, no, I can't. It's great. So I can, it's medium armor. I can't use medium armor. If I leveled up, though, I could. Um, I would like to take the 1d6 hammer, though. Yeah, switch that out with my that thing. Okay, perfect. Uh, Caster skirt. I can wear that. Yeah, I'm naked. Put some pants on. Okay. We've got another healing potion there. Ooh. All right, let's burn this guy. Got some terra boots. Oh, I didn't take any fight items because I'm fire resistant or whatever. Uh, boots I can't wear. They are real armor. <laughs> Heavy armor. <laughs> um, oh, he's just out of range, isn't he? Oh, I 
could have realized that. Uh, three is my attack. Uh, deal with this one. Put that back on. Hey, come here, buddy. Ah, uh, yes. Yes. Um. Yeah. Ooh, they both blew up. Nice. Okay, okay. There we go. Someone's got a fancy sword over there. Let's bring on a friend here. There you go, buddy. And uh, start chewing on him. Okay, I'll take a copper longsword. Yeah, I'll take that. Ooh, there's a lot of them. Can I have another friend? Can I just have the one, or did you just die? Just Was it just timed that, to look like that way? Ouch. Stop that. Well done, buddy. Ooh, we got another skirt down here. We got a uh, plated sarong. I don't think I can wear that. No, that, that's uh, that's real armor as well. The longsword, however... Um, I mean, it doesn't really matter. I don't really use my melee, so... Put a buddy out here, and then... Um, Okay, right, stop stop healing. We have some cash there. What do we have here? A Prance Elf Limp Caster. That sounds like my kind of thing. Maybe not. It's Flame Rot. Once, once able to cast Melf's uh, Flaccid Air. <laughs> <laughs> oh, boy. Okay, that's a two-handed weapon. We lost our... What were we carrying? What, were we, what do we have over there? We had just my hands over there, didn't we? Okay, we'll do that. What's it do for us? Flame rot. I don't know what that means. Take that scroll, which is a uh, Yamua. We'll try it. Ya Yamua it is. Where is it? Yeah, on him. What do we do? Hold monster. Nice, nice. 13 damage now. Is that because of the, uh, the, new, the new thing? It is, isn't it? Rebel leather, can I wear that? No, it is uh, it's medium armor. Look at all these barrels. It'd be foolish of us to not to not bash them all. So before we go down there, let's bash all these barrels here. Any more? One more. Okay. You know what? Forget the next level, or forget the rest of this level. Let's go down. We're in the dangerous level three of the Warrens. Uh, a shaman squeaks, he bab, chippy cheep cheep. Sure he does. There you go, buddy. You go there. I'm gonna go deal with this side. Okay, dealt with. Why haven't you dealt with your side yet? Quit playing around. Okay, we need another. Need another friend here. Level up. Nice, nice, nice. Uh, yeah, yeah. Let's go do that. Uh, what do I want to do? Oh, by the way, there's an update. There's a DLC that came out, I guess, a couple years ago, Pay to Lose. And they do actually, the devs still do pay attention to this game. It's still updated from time to time. There's There was like this Halloween event going on not so long ago. Um, so they certainly still stick with it. Um, I would like Elemental Resistance, uh, Searing Ray, can't Searing Ray, Blistering Torrent of Foom, a long straight line. That's what we have basically already. Also, Ignite Targets that it hits. That sounds all right. Conjures Ice Block, Decoy Man, I think. Oh, what's this? Build Grave Mooks. Consume all your dead pulses to build loyal Grave Mooks. Grave Mooks will fight on your side. Number is based on the dead pulses. Consume the power of the Grave Mooks. Scales with your level, but they are generally fragile. <sighs> yes. I would love to have some skellies. You go to number six. Okay. Yeah, right there. How many did I have? I wasn't paying attention. I should have picked that one up before I did it. Nice. Take my shield on. There's so much going on, I can't pay attention to my own health. Pick up some of these. Whew, there's so many of them. Um, do it again. Uh, six. There we go. Okay, um, let's go and just burn that guy down. Take that. That little guy throwing spears at me is a jerk. Get out of here. And then your little friend, too. 
What do we got? A discount short bow. What's with all the love making going on here? What's with the hearts? Oh, they only last for so long? Oh, man, but why? Why? Last forever. Glad you're a skirt. I can't wear that. What do we got? Herbal leather. We've got a uh, town guard shield, which I can't use. Let's throw one of these little guys out to deal with them. Okay. Anyone else out here? Got y'all. Y'all dead. More rebel other. Okay, I'm kind of. I think I'm liking this. I was a little concerned about being a caster. A lot of times, roguelikes being a caster is no good unless you really know what you're doing. And uh, I think I think I'm liking it though. A scroll there we can cast. What's with uh, what's happening with this? Is that because of my staff? I guess. The little puffs of, of smoke and all that. Yeah, that thing. Oh, because it, it's flame rot or whatever it is. A used caster skirt. Discount short bow. We got a uh, battle potion champion again. Can you stop that. Go. Okay. What'd you drop? Uh, a bendy iron heater. Well, I can't use that. I can't use the used caster shirt, but I've already got one. In the iron heater, I can't use. It's magical. I don't know what it is. I have a scroll here. Let's use these. Um, oh, that's going to be a bat one or something. Or bees or something. Got a terrifying swarm of bees. <laughs> nice. Scroll of something else. Guy right, with a dagger in his, in his tail. One shot that guy. Oh, he's one shot that guy. Uh, Nook's... Damage shield has broke. Oh, okay. Um, looks like a, a job for an army. There we go. We got five of them that time. Nice. Yeah, yeah. Take that. Ooh, what's that golden thing down there? What is it? Uh, a priceless and rare historical artifact. Nice. I'll take it. No, you bad dungeon mans, you go. Me cave king, you cave poop, says kicks it the rust. Just hold stare there, little guy. Make it easier for both of us. Where is he? Ooh, him and his, his minions are here. Um, let's go and throw out... Not that one. The big one. Throw our friends out. And he's going to slaughter our friends here. Um, let me go. I could, um, Take out the little guys. So we can get some more... Skulls, souls here. He's killing my friends. How's he feeling? Barely scratched. Um, if I do this, will it go through the pillar? Yeah, it does. I think. Fire, uh, 22 fire damage. Uh, we need a shield. And we need to... Um, get back. Back. Pick up some souls. And then raise some more. Okay, he's, he's busy now. Get that shield back out. And let's start blasting this guy. Take that. How you feeling now? Stop trying to kill that guy. There we go. Uh. Take that. First true victory over the forces of evil. Congratulations are in order. But don't get too distracted by shiny loots. There are still monsters nearby. Are you bleeding and poisoned? Don't let your guard down. Got, <laughs> got to. Got it. Oh, that's a way out. Okay. Pick up all the loots. Yeah, yeah. Let's get them all. What do you throw at me? Okay. Why is there two portals? Okay. Uh huh. Where's this one go? To the overworld. To the overworld. Why is there two of them? There we go. Okay. Pick up a, a fancy new potion. Uh, did I get any new fancy gear? Alright, give me that. Uh, what do we have over here? Gladiator skirt. I mean, a lot of gladiator skirts. Okay, let's get out of here. Done. Take a look at what we got here. I have another limp caster, but I don't need to worry about that. We have a... Splinter Grip Chopper that we can use. It's just a one-handed axe, though. The uh, the staff is way better. 
Um, there is... Return this to the Academy Headmaster. He'll know what to do with it. Priceless Artifact. He needs to go to Headmaster as well. And a Proof of Strength. That's right. Return this to the Headmaster. I don't think we can get anything out of that. It was all worthless. Alright. Well, what time is it? It's been 30 minutes. Alright, we should call it a day here. Let's head back victorious. And let everyone know how amazing we are. Let's go tell these kids how great we are. Um. Oh, I wanted something fancy. Okay. <laughs> Alright. Back to the headmaster. Let's have a chat. Hey, buddy. Guess what? We're amazing. Um, I want to give you some books for the library. You don't have any books right now. Turn it. Oh, whoops. Uh, I'd like to give you some relics. My word, look at how historical and significant this rare artifact is. Surely the, you, you see the value in such a find. It belongs in a museum. Made the right call. Now all we need is a museum to store this in. Hold, close your eyes. Found the Dungeon Man's Academy Museum. Now all, now for each enemy defeated in the battle, monster knowledge will let you see more detailed information about your enemies. Donate a book of true things. Nice. Okay. Fancy. Let's go see it. Is it back here somewhere? I don't see an academy. Oh! There it is. Ooh, look at that. Ah, hey, buddy. Thanks for coming to visit the Academy Museum. Yeah. Nice. What happened to the, one, the thing I found? What we have here are a collection of mysterious items from times before. Study, examine, and research and categorize them. Oh, I don't know if they are for a long time, so if I die and then the next guy that comes in, they'll be showing up. Like wrapped presents full of beat down weapons for the next generation. Makes sense. Okay, okay, okay. No, no, leave me alone. I gotta turn in the um, couple other things for this guy, too. Hey, buddy. More things. I have um, entirely new overall while keeping the academy data safe. No, no, no. Bags are overflowing. Mysterious gear and bubbling potions. Didn't I find these things for me? Oh, he did. Thanks, buddy. I didn't know you could do that. I didn't realize that was a thing. Okay, so now I've got um, bark skin, liquid bandage, curse gear, eat curse, identify, ignore laughable projectiles, pin to win. Pin the monster to place for two rounds. What do we do with this? Oh, oh, it's just, okay, yeah. Uh, relics. Okay, vintage mifibrillator. Um, yep, yep, it's great. And then we have proof of strength. Undeniable mark of prowess and tenacity. Talk to him about raising your base stats. New supplies for the Academy Lab. That's right. Expand the Academy Lab to level 1. Nice. So what about that um, proof of strength? What do I do with that? Overflows with rewards for your hard work. Ah, revitalization, revitalization potion? Thanks, buddy. Okay. Nice. We got someone else in here, too. Who are you? Nothing. Can't talk to you. Alright, anyway, it's been a long video. We're gonna call this a day. So, um... We may play more of this. Depends on how if, I, if I'm in a mood for more, but, uh... Let me know if you want to see more Dungeon Mans. I think I can handle more of that. I'll probably die immediately, but, you know. Thanks for watching. And I'll see you next time.